Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back to another stream. We are live, I believe. Let me get set up here. How is everybody doing? If you are here, I'll let everyone join before I announce what we are doing today. Hopefully this sounds okay, you can hear me, the game's on. You know, you can see the name of the game anyway. Let's get the chat up. Hello, hello, hello. Oh yes, we are live. Good, good, good. I'm doing good cry, how are you? Hello, Sassy. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Yvonne. The family's doing good, thank you, Sassy. Yeah, we're doing good. Hopefully you all are okay. You're gonna be watching while crocheting. <laughs> My girlfriend will appreciate that. <laughs> She's been crocheting a lot today, actually. Hello, hello. Hello, Gummy. So today, I'll be checking out a game called Cornucopia. This is an upcoming farm RPG or farm sim that is getting released, I believe, in August this year as an early access. Uh, and this is a demo version, which is available on Steam during the Steam Fest. I came across this literally yesterday. I was browsing on the Steam store on Steam Fest, and this game got recommended to me. Obviously, because it's a farm game. Uh, and yeah, I was actually watching the developer's broadcast that was on the store page on Steam. I don't think it was live at the time. It was kind of like a, a pre-recorded thing. And I was sat just like watching it for like 30 minutes. I couldn't stop watching it. And I really enjoyed it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to play this game. And I'm going to show it off. Because it looks very unique. Very awesome. There's a ton of stuff to this game. Like, it just looks insane. So... I want to give it a go and show it to you guys because I believe it needs to be put out there for people to know, you know, and get get wishlist in it and all that kind of stuff. So I've not jumped into the demo myself. Like I said, I've only watched it. So let's give it a go. Cornucopia, you can find a link to the store down below if you want to learn more about it or play the demo yourself. And uh, yeah, I don't know how long the demo is. Hopefully we get a good couple of hours out of it. And let's give it a go. Excited to see a new game. Yeah, it looks awesome. So basically, it's a 2.5D game. So it's not 2D or 3D. It's, uh, yeah, the, the visual, the aspect of the game is very unique, but I love it. So let's start a new game. Hopefully you can hear the music okay. Just let me know, someone please, in chat, if that music's too loud or not loud enough, just so I can adjust the settings before we start, whilst I create my character here. So, Sharky Boy. You can actually choose your birthday. I like that. I love the sprites of the people. I think they're awesome. Um, so we can go with spring, summer, autumn, or winter. And now it sets to 19th automatically. So the day is literally already there, but you can just choose the season. So let's go summer. My birthday is during summer as well. Uh, you can choose the eye color. I'll just probably keep it blue. The name of the farm. Give me some suggestions down below, guys. What do you want us to call the farm? Cherry farm is the default. Yeah, the UI is awesome. Wait till you actually see the game, guys. The visuals are gorgeous. It's very unique. Now, you can select your gender as well. As you can see here, we've got the female chicken and the rooster for male. <laughs> the sound effects. <laughs> That's cool. That is cool. But yeah, we'll play as a, a sharky boy today. Coral reef. Yeah, I always do that. I always do that. Paper Mario vibes, yeah it does. Terraria, yep it does. Um, okay, Sharky Town, <laughs> Sharky Town. I quite like Yvonne's, we're gonna go with Happy Town. Let's do it, why not? Blossom Farm, oh that's nice as well, I do like that. But I'll go with Happy, uh, Happy Town because I said that first, so thank you for the suggestions. I don't wanna spend too long on that. So let's just go with, uh, let's give us a little bit of a tan. You know, I'm not that pale. I'm all right. So we've got hairstyles. Oh, I love it. Let's go hair color a bit darker. Uh, my hair is quite darkish brown in real life. Let's see. Oh, spiky. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, the music's nice too. Okay, let's go with this. This looks all right. Uh, or that one. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Why not? Change, what is this then? This is the clothing. So this is your shirt underneath, or like the red. That's kind of cool. 
and then you can do your overalls as well. Oh yeah, look at that. No, I like that. That's kind of cool. Oh, green. Now, I like this, like, khaki, grayish brown color. I like that. Let's go with that. You can also do the shoes as well. I quite just like the brown color, to be honest. I'm kind of happy with that. Yeah, let's start. I am happy with that. Let's go. I've never played the demo. Long hair in white gray. <laughs> So here we go, look, we get portrait designs and everything. Now, one thing that I like about this game, which I saw when I was watching the broadcast, is how many people and NPCs there are in the game. I think there's nearly 50 or something like that, which is double Stardew Valley's. So there's so many people to meet. It's really good. They've added so much to this guy. The, de the details are insane. All right, so uh, Andre, uh, he's frozen solid. He looks a little bit like Demetrius, the scientist. Look, oh, it's frozen in the mines. Uh, where did you find him? So this is Winter. Oh, look at that! She's she is that. It's got to be a female, right? But she's really butch. She's she's got a mustache. Is this is this a girl or a boy? Well, I don't know. It's hard to hard to explain. The pink hair, the skin. Maybe it's just the, the, you know he or they or I don't know what you could describe that person as. But either way, they are strong. Look at them. So, the ice and the guy. Uh, that is you, of course. This is us, we're frozen. Further than I ever thought anyone had ever ventured before. Yeah, pecs like that. The mustache threw me off straight away. A lot of ropes, pulleys and grip brought him up. Fighting past dangers. How long do you think he was trapped in there? So this is Rufus. He looks cool. I've never seen him before. No one could survive this. The pickaxe sticking out. <laughs> This is beyond my skill as a doctor, Rufus. You're going to need to uh, drive him to the next town. Please tell me, my wife, Rose, I... Please tell my wife, Rose, I won't be returning home tonight. <clears throat> you must go now. Help me load this ice block into the back of my truck. Oh, we're frozen solid, that's strange. You get a mix of Harvey and Demetrius, yeah, right? Uh, doctor, it's not looking good. We have to do something now. Wait, I can hear a faint heartbeat. We're alive. Hang on. There's still hope. Yes. This is dramatic. <laughs> Half <Half-tree> us. <laughs> That's cool. Wake up. You need to fight for us now. Oh, God. I'm sweating. What's going on here? Boo-boo. Good morning. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Oh, my God. I love it. Look at this, guys. How gorgeous is that? I don't know what it is, but the visuals really get to me like it's 2.5 you know, D so cool I just love the looks of it it's so unique literally it's like Paper Mario right <laughs> oh darn looks like roadblock it's just so different I may as well gi uh, give you these tools so you can clear the rubble they're in the back of my truck you're going to have to do all the heavy labor I'm not the spring chicken that I used to be. <laughs> oh, here's all the tools. Let's go. No time to smell the roses. Pick berries or pick your nose. Let's get to work. <laughs> Let's go. I love how the tutorial and backstory is different and not the typical taking over your grandpa's farm. Yeah, I've noticed that. So here we go. Uh, tools, you can drag them into your hotbar. We can move around, jump, use the tool with left click. So it's nice to get a little tutorial here. Oh, just look. We like paper. It's so cool. I don't know what it is about it, but I really like it. There's a dog in the truck. Look at him. That's so good. So we've got to clear the obstacles. Okay. Look at him dancing. <laughs> you see him dancing then. So we've got the pickaxe here. Um, so you just select your tool and then... Yeah, pretty easy. So pickaxe, then we can just break that. Look at us go. And then we can get the axe. Get the log. What's this? Is this like a, sh a shovel? Can we just get rid of this? What is that? I know we've got some grass here that we can get rid of. Oh, we've got some seeds, guys. Right, what's this here? Oh, it's like soil. Hey! You look like an English bulldog. I think so. 
Way to go! Nice. Love the portrait. So cool. Jump back into the truck uh, bed and let's hit the road. Oh, I just want to explore. Bushes. I can't wait to get to the farm. The truck's all smoky. <coughs> oh, God. Pollution. Yeah, it's a cute doggo. A achievement. Apparently, there's like, in the demo, there's about 20-something achievements. But when the game gets released as early access, there's nearly like 90. I think there's 80-something achievements. And they've all had nice little pictures designed specially for it. The artwork, and they look really cool. I love getting achievements in Steam. I don't know what it is. Okay, oh no, we'll have to break out the big guns for this one. Time to bust the explosives. Quick, grab the bombs from the back of my truck. It's time to make some fireworks. <laughs> nice magnetic bomb. Bombs away! The music's cool. Okay, so we've got some of these little bombs to get rid of the big rocks. Okay, nice to know. This is a cool tutorial. It's literally like you're on the way down to the farm and you're playing the tutorial before you get there. So good. Very unique. Okay, so... Uh, bomb. Um, oh, run! Jesus! Oh, nice. That was cool, though. Copper ore, clusters, coal. Will you play Traveler's Rest anytime soon? Absolutely, yeah. I was debating to stream that, but then I saw this one. So, But I've got a video idea coming out as well, Simon. Very soon for that one. I'm working at the moment. A lot of my time is going on a big Stardew Valley video. Oh, oh no. What have I done? Bomb! Don't waste them. Uh, yeah, as I was saying, I'm working on a big Stardew Valley video. Uh, do you know those, like, 100 days in Stardew Valley? But I've got, like, a twist with it. It's very unique. I've never seen anybody do it before, but it's taken me so, so long. This game is called Cornucopia. There we go. Look at that. Just as I said it, it's popped up on the screen. The timing was perfect. There'll be links down below if you want to know what the game is to the store. This is the demo version. It's not getting released until um, August this year as early access. So this farm used to be owned by some good friends of mine. I've been keeping an eye on this place since they passed away. I'll let you stay here until you get back on your feet. It needs re a repair, but you can fix it. Putting in some elbow grease never hurts anyone. Now you'll have something to keep you occupied while you wait for your memory to return. Oh, our memory's gone then because we've been frozen. Clear the garden, all of the logs and stones so you can grow some delicious vegetables. Just till, plant water, wait, and harvest. As easy as pie. Speaking of pie, my wife Rose made you one as a welcome gift. Here you go. Ooh, blueberry pie. That sounds nice. That shipping bin looks pretty run down. You'll have to repair it before you can sell products. Ooh. Stanley, our mailman, will come and pick up any outgoing deliveries every weekday. So this is another unique thing about this game. You can't actually sh ship items or sell anything on the weekends. Someone comes to collect all the stuff in the shipping bin from Monday Monday to Friday. So that's um, very unique. You can still put things in the box, I believe, but they won't you know, collect them and sell them until Monday. I love it. It makes sense, you know? Not everybody works on the weekends. Best leave you to it. Super cute looking game. Yeah, I agree. It's amazing. I love the pixel design for the characters. The buildings I'm not 100% with. I feel like the buildings can have a nice... A nicer look, a bit more of a touch-up, but the characters and the animals that you'll see later are amazing. They have a mailman. I think they do, yeah. Guys, I'll, t I'll show you in a second how many NPCs there are in this game. There are a ton. Forgot my soda in the fridge. Soda? Look at him drinking it. Ah, that hit the spot. I've been using your home to store my soda, as Rose doesn't approve of me drinking this stuff. I trust that you'll keep it our little secret. <laughs> I love Rufus. I'll let you have the place all to yourself from now on. Just keep in mind, it never hurts to share a fizzy drink with an old man every now and then. <laughs> Take this to help liven up your home. A little gift to you from me, uh, from me. The inside makes up for the exterior. Yeah, I did see the interior design. But the outside it just needs a little, like the windows and stuff, as you can see, just needs maybe some reflection on there. Just a little bit cleaner for the buildings, a bit more detail. But look, the dog, Munger. Now, one funny thing about this game is the dog actually talks. Apparently, the dog, only you, I think only you can hear him. And don't forget to take care of Munger. You better get some sleep soon. You have a big day tomorrow. 
When you wake up, don't forget to fix the shipping bin. Yeah, I think the dog kind of like, he's like your spirit animal or something. He kind of like guides you through things. And you can talk to him, uh, as you can see. I don't have time to chat right now. And you can give him gifts and everything. I'm sure you have a lot to keep you busy. So good. So here we go, guys. There's the calendar. There is, is that 31 days in a season? And I think there's only a spring right now for the demo. Um, and then we can have a look at our backpack here. So we've got, oh look, some furniture. A hanging barn picture. We can go ahead and put that inside the house. Wild root seeds. Okay, those are stuff that we got from the tutorial. We kind of get to keep it. So let's have a look at the map. Here we go. There's the map. Apparently it's a very big map and a lot to explore. Now we can just quickly go over a few a few things here. They're obviously a farm. We have got a fishing shop down here on the beach with some caves. Apparently there's a lot of things you can do in the caves and the mines. There's a mine somewhere here as well. We have got the beach villa. You can actually purchase buildings in this game. Uh, and you can actually bid on them as well. There's an auction room somewhere. Yeah, auction house. And you can bid on animals and buildings and things like that. And it's kind of like gambling. Well, not gambling, but you take a gamble. So you can either get a lot of money for selling something at the auction, or you might not get as much for it. It's kind of like, take that risk. So there's an arcade. We've got a bar. We've got a carpenter shop. A vineyard mansion. A tree house, which you can also purchase for sale. We've got a wizard's windmill. A restaurant, a church, a community building in the middle. A library, Japanese restaurant, so cool. Now, we've got our skills here, which is really good. We've got animal husbandry, combat, and bomb skill. Interesting. Now, look at the characters, guys. There is a lot. So, there's 48 characters in the game. We've already met a little Munga and a Rufus, and there's just so much. How do we go to the next page? Uh, oh, it's a little, oh yeah, there was a little thing there, a little slider. But yeah, there is a lot, a lot to meet. I can't wait to get meeting all these people. And you can click on them and you can see a big portrait design. It will um, show you what they like. You've got to try and figure that out yourself. So, it tells you if they're single or already married. You've got to try and find their favorite items. And apparently, this changes every playthrough, guys. So here, Rufus might like, let's say, strawberries, and he might hate uh, beer. But then if you start a new game, these will randomize. So every time you start a new game, the loved items and disliked items change. Which I think is so unique, because every playthrough is going to be so different. Yeah, your tools do have special skills as well. If you level them up, you can use like a special move. But guys, the collection is insane. Look at this. 281 crops, fruits, vegetables, fish. There's so much to collect. We've already got one of the sodas here. Lots to craft. Key items. Gathering. It's absolutely insane. So actually, that was just fishing list. <gasps> 281 fish. What the hell? That's so much fish. 384 crops. Oh my god, there's so much to collect. It's going to keep us busy for so long, guys. Look at this. And then we've got gathering, mining. How many items? I can't believe there's nearly 300 fish to catch. Holy crap. Okay, well, yeah, we've got a lot. Oh, did, did you see that? Did someone just jump behind here? Did anyone see that? I saw a face pop up behind that shed. I'm sure I did. I don't know what that was. Anyway, we got mail, a letter. Oh yeah, look at these steam achievements. They look so good. It's counting the seeds for the crops too. Yeah, but still, wow. Uh, I'd really like it if you put water in my bowl and food in my dish, or I'll poop near the shipping bin. <laughs> this dog, what a guy. So we've got to gather 12 stone. We've already got 10. Um, we kind of we haven't got no food for you though, right? We've got a watering can, I guess. Can we fill that? There we go. I don't know what food we can give you. You're not having my blueberry pie. That's mine. I'll find something else for you. Okay, so let's just uh, work on the. What time is it? Oh, it's getting late. 7:20 p.m. Let's just do a bit of clearing up, shall we? We've obviously got to get. Can we get these little ones? Oh yeah, we can. 
Oh yeah, I've got a bit of space here now. It's getting dark. Yeah, the style of this game is so cool. Oh god. We're on a cliff. Don't jump down there. Whoa. Let's get this water. I know I need to get the stone as well. I'll probably just break a few things around the shipping bin. Try and clear a nice little area out because we will do some farming. So I want to make a bit of space somewhere. We're we'll getting some seeds, guys. Now I'll show you an interesting thing later on with the soil. There's different soil types in the game, which is crazy. Nice. Oh. What's it showing us here? Oh, we got a blueprint. A furnace. Nice. Let's get that. We we'll probably should sleep and do this in the morning though, right? It's 9, 10 p.m. Look at that doggo. You give the dog some fertilizer. <laughs> The tools have XP bars under them, yep. Yeah, so this is not, so this bar underneath your tools, when it fills to the top, unlocks a special ability with that tool. And for example, with the, with the ax, you can chop a tree down in one hit. It's like a special ability. It's super cool. And just using the tools will get that bar up. But it was really dark right now. Hey, look, there we go. The scythe special ability is ready. So let's sleep, and I'll show you that in the morning. Fine, why don't you stay awake to see if we pass out, shall we? It's hard for you to see on stream, though. I don't want it to be too dark for you guys. But look, look at all this. Let's use the ability on this, then. So you do control, and then use it. Oh, look at that. One big area. Nice. That's so much better. I love it. Do we have energy and stuff? Yeah, as you can see, we've got energy 32 out of 100. There's a health up there and money. We've got the season, weather, sunny. I'll place the blueprint in the morning, maybe. Getting lots of seeds, which is good. Dog food next to the pie. Did we get some dog food? Oh, we did. I thought this was like soil. Nice. Yeah, let's go put this into his bowl. He's probably, he's probably starving. I can't see, it's super dark. Oh, there's the bowl. And then you just... Yeah, achievement! Throw me a bone! Oh, yeah, the mark worker's amazing. Okay. Yeah, it's really dark. So let's just see if we pass out, I guess. Let's see if we do pass out in the game. Or can you stay up all night long? In the meantime, oh, special ability on the axe. Okay, I'm gonna chop down a tree, just so you guys can see this. So if we go over to a big tree, uh, here we go. Let's just see how many hits it takes. Let's get rid of this one first. So a normal tree, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, oh, that was eight, I think that was falling. So eight hits to knock down a tree. Let's go over to another one. God, it's so dark. I was gonna do another pine tree, so we can kind of compare a bit easier, but they're all different. I can't see anything. Okay, let's just use it on this big tree here, I guess. Control. Oh, one hit, boom. We've got crafting recipes, saplings, uh, a saw, and logging. Well guys, it's 2.10 a.m. and we are not passed out yet. So unless this is three o'clock, I feel like you can stay up all night long. But we're gonna have to sleep because look, energy's at four. So we're gonna have to do that. But I feel like we don't pass out. So you could just stay up all night long, I believe. You just sleep when you need to. Let's just see what happens at three o'clock. Oh, there we go, it is 3 a.m. Oh, okay. That's interesting to know. Oh no, no we don't. It just says it's a new day. Everything's grown. So you don't need to sleep. Well, you do, because you need to get your stamina up, but you don't have to worry about getting back in time. Oh, you jump on the bed. <laughs> hey, it's automatically doing that. Right, let's sleep. So three o'clock in the morning counts as a new day, but you don't have to sleep. Oh God, we are up and ready for the day. So it's the second, 6 a.m. So we slept for three hours. <laughs> That's kind of like me last night. <laughs> Oh, fridge. Oh, soda. Nice. Oh, I like how you can open the backpack like that. We've got a furnace there. And also, um, oh yeah. 
Decoration, how do I use that? Right click. And then, do, is it crafting? Well, there's the crafting menu anyway. Look at this. We've got a, uh, a blueprint for a saw. Let's craft that. Oh, we can't yet. Maybe it's because we need to do the blueprint. Where did that picture go? Oh, it's here. How do I use it? To the backpack. No, I don't want to do that. What did we do with it? Oh, is, is that it there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I just had to click on the wall. Oh, yeah, we've got achievement, home decorate. So that's a little picture that we got. So furniture edit mode is on and then right click and you can move it wherever you like. And you can do this with anything in the house as well. And you can literally like, as you can see, move chairs. You can move all the kitchen. Everything is movable, which is pretty cool. And then you turn the furniture edit mode off. Can we light the fire? Do we need wood in it? Oh, look at that. Nice. Okay, I'm having too much fun inside. Let's go. Let's go, go. Furnace. Oh, there we go. Let's place that down. Now we can put forest stone inside here. Yes, place four stones into the furnace. It's going to take some time, so let's go ahead and maybe do a bit of work. Guys, are you ready to see something cool? I saw this on the stream that I was watching. And it's taken from Mario. Have you guys... I don't know what game it was, because I don't really play much Mario. But there's an animation where you can collect mushrooms. And it lifts them up out of the ground. And you can do it in this game too. Are you ready to see? Oh, you can hold it. You ready? Let me just get rid of this so you can see. You ready? Pick those up. There we go. Oh, no. I don't want to use the scythe on it. Oh, no. Take the scythe off. Uh, Is the another one? Yeah, it's here. Hey, there we go. Whoop. I love that animation. It lifts it out of the ground. Oh, you can use your scythe too. <laughs> Oh, something happened then. We've got some more. Oh, yeah, it's done. We've got the uh, the quest. Now we've got to do the blueprint saw. This one here. There's another one. Should we put it next to it? I love that you can see where you can place it and where you can't. So if it's red, you can't place it. This game is called Cornucopia. So now we need to pull us logs in here. There we go. Now we're making planks. So we have got some blocks. That's how you make the blocks. This looks like Paper Mario for the star for Stardew. Yeah, it does, right? I love the style of this game. It's so cool. We're trying to fix the shipping bin right now because it's a bit broken and we can't sell anything until we've fixed it. Which I think is part of the tutorial. It's kind of cool because it's letting you know how to craft and use the furnace and things like that. Oh, we need to put water in the dog's bowl. And some dog food. Where did that dog food go? There it is. The inventory's looking full. Woohoo! Munga. What a name. Right, is this finished? No, it's still working. Let's do a little bit more work then. We'll do some farming soon. Look at these big, massive... These are like... What are they called? Termite hills or something? They look like those. I don't think they are, but... This is so cozy. I love farming games. They are just the best. Oh, shipping bin's done. Nice. So the planks. And you just drag it on. So easy to, to play this game. Yeah, we'll check out the barn and the coop. Don't you guys worry. So we need... Did we pick up the plank? No, it's there. There we go. So then we'll just backpack. We're going to put that there like that. And then we can... Put the plank, click onto there, and the blocks, and it's repaired. So this is the shipping bin. We finally fixed it up, and we can now start selling things, guys. We've repaired the shipping bin. So, ooh, so this is a pretty cool thing about this game as well. Ooh, what's this here? Compost bin. Nice. We get compost in the game. 
And what do you put into here? Add material. I'm guessing just kind of like plant fiber? Like green waste kind of thing? Should we try that? Yeah, we're making compost. And then you can put this into the soil. Really good. But yeah, look at this, guys. We've got... So there's these special cards that you can collect and scratch cards as well. So if you press this card here, press F to open and find what's inside. We've got this card. If we go to the card menu, there are a lot of these to try and collect. So it's like little collectibles, little cards, and you can open them in packs. Um, and each card has a special ability. So this one here, the effect is... So what does this do? Does it tell us what it does? Effect. What's verse? What's that say? Verse? 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 Versailles? Versilius? What is that? I've never heard of that word. But anyway, yeah, each card has special buffs and you can only activate one at a time. Or no, four at a time maybe. Remaining one hour. I don't know what this does. Maybe it's some kind of relationship thing. Oh yeah, it tells you if it's compostable. Nice. That is pretty cool. Plantable. Plantable. Oh yeah, look, the soil, guys, is crazy in this game. So, what's the next quest here is wait for that. Okay, so let's open up the scratch card. Oh, I wanted to do the... Uh... Where was it? Oh, there it is. So, this is a Tropical Escape scratch card, and then we get to try a look, guys, and win a prize. Wish me some luck. So, you just need to match. Is it free? Come on. Oh, is that a little... That's a hammerhead shark. Oh, my God. Fishing's going to be great in this game. Oh, we got two of these little seashells. One more, guys. Come on. We can win. Oh, I think we got it. Is that free? Free of a kind. What's the prize? Oh, bottled water. <laughs> Just what I wanted. <laughs> hey, at least we won, though. When I was watching the stream... From the developer, he didn't win, so haha, <laughs> we got it. That's cool. We got a bottle of water. This is edible. We can compact it, which is like recycling, and we can drink it as well. Or we can sell it. We can sell lots of stuff. Look, we've got mushrooms. Can you like oh look at that? You can access all of the bags all at once. So good. Shipping bin 105 so far. This is a blast. This is a great game, guys. This is a great game. Okay. Compost bin still. It's taking a long time, right? Should we do some farming? Or is that going to be part of the, the next quest? Maybe we should just wait. Because I feel like we're going to have to be doing that soon anyway. Maybe let's go and check out the coop. Spongy material. <gasps> oh, what's this? Oh, it's showing us how to farm. There we go. We'll do that in a second. I want to go into the coop here, because I think we do have chickens. Oh, this building is storage. So you get a huge storage um, chest, or shed, sorry, on the farm. And as you can see, it is Among Us. <laughs> see what I did there? <laughs> so you can put all sorts in here to help out your inventory. And it's really, really good. Hold on two seconds, guys. I got a phone call from the doctors. I think I need to take this. Two seconds.
Right, I'm back. I am back, guys. So sorry about that. I had to take that phone call because I missed the first one. It was uh, a doctor's from the doctors about my daughter, so I had to take that one. But I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. So yeah, that was the storage shed. Now let's go and have a look at the coop, and then we'll do some farming. So here we go. A little cut scene. Nice. So Rufus, well, this place looks empty. So I think this chick here that you get, this is like a little starter. Um, this changes colour every time you play a new game. So we've got some kind of dingy yellow colour. <laughs> the one I watched, it was bright pink or something, or green maybe. So, yeah, this is cool. I'm used to the chat going crazy. Because <laughs> everyone's like, where is he? Why is he quiet? <laughs> it definitely needs a lady's touch. We thought, oh, so this is Rose, this is Rufus's wife. We thought we would find you in here. My wife and I have a present for you. One of our chickens hatched a baby, and we immediately thought of you. Make sure you feed the little guy every day. Chickens are amazing animals. They will follow you anywhere you go, and they can make the best little helpers. So yeah, another good thing about this game is the pets, or the animals in the game, when they follow you, they can actually help you with some of the tasks. So they can like knock down trees, fiber, rocks. Uh, they'll help you in combat. You can kind of like level them up as well. So they'll get stronger, and uh, it's really cool. Another unique thing about a game like this, like this is not just your typical farm RPG, guys. There's so much that's gone into this game. Like I was listening to the, de the developer explaining everything that's in the game, and I was just blown away. I was like, what the hell? How can one tiny little farm RPG game that looks like a 2.5 Paper Mario game have so much content? <laughs> I know you find the perfect name for the little guy. Oh, guys, give me some name suggestions. I almost forgot. Hey, we got a brush. Animals absolutely love being brushed every day, so animals is a big part of this game, and apparently there is a lot. There is a lot of animals you can get in the game that you can um, look after and have as pets and help you around and follow you. So, yeah, it's going to be cool. Here he is. I actually like the colour. So, like I said, this is randomised. You get random colour every time you start a new game. And, um, yeah, it's a her. Oh, we found out, so it's a her. So, as you can see, we've clicked on the chick, and it is following us. And this can go outside, and it will help us with everything that we want to do. And I believe you can... Is it right-click? Oh, I don't know how... Oh, yeah, look at that. So, we've you press right-click, and the little chick... Is using its own stamina, so you've got to be careful. You do have to feed it. It's knocking down a big rock for us. Come on, little guy. Well, it's a she. We need to name her. Guys, give me some honey. Oh, that's a nice name because the colour. Maybe, yeah, honey. Let's go with honey straight away. So, um, yeah. This is so cool. You can make them do all sorts. Just got to feed them. And the best thing is, whilst the chick is going crazy and, like, say, chopping this tree down, we can actually chop this one down at the same time. So we're getting double the work done. <laughs> yeah, it is a little dude chick. So, you right-click again to stop it from following you. Right-click for it to... Oh, left-click to follow. So let's see here. You go into details, you can find out a lot of stuff. So the skill level for working is already going up because, look... Oh, there's the mailman. Yeah, well, oh, have we just missed him? Mailman, come back! No! No! We can leave, but I don't want to do this yet because we've got so much to do on the farm. So, yeah, let's take a look again. Oh, the chicken's hungry. All right, little fella. So we've got racing because there is a rate, like a, an event that you can do with all your animals to to race. So you've got to try and get that skill up and practice. We've got power. Like I said, they can help you with combat. We've got speed uh, and the bond. This is a female, this chick. She's quite hungry. Happiness is 78. And it is one day old. And we need to also, guys, discover the chick's favorite food. We don't know what it is. So you just have to keep giving them loads of food until you find out what they like or hate. And like I said as well, every animal is different and every time you start a new playthrough, these are randomized. So this chick might like, I don't know, corn. If I start a new game, it might not like corn, it might hate it. So it's, it's so cool. So what have we got? Let's see, we've actually got wheat seeds. We need to do some farming because we've got nothing that we can give the little guy. Or her, it's a her, it's not a, it's a little cool chick. But we need, how do we name it? 
Oh, there we go. Name. Honey. Honey. That's a name. Click to allow pet to assist the player. We need to do some farming, guys. Look. Can, wait, can the chick dig soil? No. So you're probably noticing here as we're tilling the soil. Oh, what have we found? Oh, the compost bin's done, finally. Uh, yeah, there's different colours. And we'll explain what this is all about in the morning. Because there's different soil types in the game. And it all has like a, a meaning. Because different crops grow in different soil types. Which is very realistic. I do gardening myself. So, you know, you can have like clayish soil. Loamy. PT or whatever, you know, it's interesting. And certain crops like certain soil. Can we uh, add the... Oh, he's going to go to sleep with us. Or oh, she. It's a she. It's because I said it's a cool chick. I said it's a cool dude, and now I keep thinking it's a guy. So can we stop you from following us? Um, yeah, it's just going to stay there. <laughs> right, let's go to sleep. And we'll do the farming in the morning. Does this have multi multiplayer? I have no idea. I'm actually not sure on that one. Whee! Ah, oh, honey stayed there. She's awesome. Next time we'll put the fire on and you can sit by the fire, honey. So let's go. Let's finish off this. Ooh, the wind, nice. So we use the compost on tilled soil. So the compost that we got from the compost bin, which is here, is called green compost. Now you can see... There are different nitrogen levels. Nitrogen. So, this compost is high in nitrogen. It's got two. There's also potassium, phosphorus, and bioactivity. And this is also determined in the soil as well. Uh, we have, have we, did we get the magnifying glass? No, we'll get that in a second. So, for now, let's just put the compost in the soil. We'll put that into this one. There's the magnifying glass, and we can identify the soil and find out what it's looking like. Let's have a look. So as you can see, this nutrient contents in this soil, because we've put compost on it, we've now made the nitrogen 8. It's got 9 potassium and 5 phosphorus. And each soil, as you can see when you highlight over it, is different. But in certain plants like certain nutrients. So you've got to kind of, you know, plant in the right soil... And if you put it in the right one, it will make the plant really happy and bigger. So this wheat seed here loves soil that's full of potassium. Uh, high in potassium. Maybe this one here. So like silty soil. But it wasn't the right number. So you need to try and improve that higher. But it's not going to do too bad there. You can get three different sizes of crops. Small, medium and large. If you put it on a perfect soil condition. You'll get one large crop. If you put it on soil that it doesn't really like. You'll just get a small. But end of the day it's still a crop that you can sell. It doesn't really matter. We've got earthworm. We've got some bait that we can use for fishing. Nice. Organise these a little bit. We've got a brush. We should brush our chick. Hey, another achievement. Nice. Oh, she'll give him an, uh, a her, a hearthworm. Yes. She's still hungry. Oh, God, what can we... What about... Oh. Large lava. No, he's not hungry. She's not hungry anymore. Nice. Skills. Oh, yeah, look. Skills in it. We've got one mining in... Oh, no. Scythe. Is one level already. That's good. So plant seeds on tilled soil. So we need some more seeds. Let's see what else we've got. We've got seven wild roots. We've got uh, what else? Have we got any more seeds? Maybe. Yeah, some here as well. Leafy seeds and fibrous. So we've got quite a bit of different seeds there. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see what we can do. I mean, for now we can just kind of plant them. Oh, look at that. Optimal fertilizer conditions. So that plant, really like that one. I'm just going to plant anywhere. And we'll get random sized crops. It doesn't really matter. We'll get small, medium, and large. As you can see, some of these crops are liking the soil anyway. So it is quite random. These root vegetables kind of like any soil. So if you've got some of the root crops, just plant them in any soil. It doesn't really matter. 
and then we've got some plump seeds and fibrous. So they like no nitrogen or phosphorus. They just like potassium at five. Which we've not got the right soils for this, to be honest. But like I said, it doesn't really matter too much. Oh yeah, it's liking that one. It'd be interesting to see all the different sizes we get. Did I till the right amount of soil perfectly without even guessing? Oh my god, I tilled all of that and we've used every single one. <laughs> that was amazing. Oh, we've got another seed there though. We ruined it. So now we need to water. Now we can fill the watering can up as well. Whee! By the well. When it's when your item when you hovered over an item in your inventory, it said that you could press Z to feed it to honey. Ah. So like certain certain things. So we've not got anything right now. We know that chickens and chicks like little bugs and stuff, so we can dig the soil and try and find some. So we've got a watering can, let's give these a good water. Water the soil. So now I've got to grow and harvest vegetables. We've just got to wait for that. And we can maybe do a bit of exploring while we wait for these. It's going to take a few days. Watering can ability is ready. Oh yeah, let's do it. Let's try it. I've never seen this before, so let's control. Oh, maybe it does like a, a square rather than lengthy. But hey, it watered more than one at a time. Okay. Let's have a little look. Uh, honey. Hunger's free out of free, so she's doing okay. Right, let's put some wood. Let's get some more planks on the go. We're going to need some more of this, though. Some stone. Sienna stone. Can we put that into there? Yeah, we can. Grow and harvest them. Let's put that away. Let's have a little. Oh, we'll actually, get some compost on the. Oh, no. What have I done? Maybe don't use the pickaxe. Um, have we got anything that we can compost? I don't think we have, right? No. Oh yeah, look, capers feed to honey, but she's not hungry right now, so. And we can also give blueberry pie. Compostable plant fiber. Let's do some of this. Here we go. Just like that. Right, we can... Ooh, we can actually compost this spongy material as well. I'm going to put them up top what, in, like, order there. And this is food that we can eat and drink. We've got seeds that we can plant. We should probably do that as well. And you can kind of just, like, plant them wherever you like. So we've got a yew tree here. That's good, good, good. We've got a hemlock. Got to keep planting those trees because we'll eventually run out, so. Ooh, a dogwood. Don't think I've ever heard of that. Can put you there? Oh, yeah, it's one of these, like, white trees. Got mail. Let's have a look what it says. Rufus, I hope you and the baby chick are getting along nicely. Yeah, we are. Remember, it will follow you anywhere, and animals love to help you out. Don't forget to feed and brush it. Yeah, we should do that every day. We've already done it, though. Oh, it's gave us some mealworms for doing that little quest there. But I don't think Honey is hungry right now, so we can hold off. But at least we've got something, though. We've got another seed here. Oh, we've got another layer. Hold on. Oh, this must be the mailman. Stanley, welcome to the neighborhood. I hope you'll get lucky. Oh, scratch card. There's vending machines in town selling all sorts of things. It's my little side hustle. I'm sure I'll see you exploring around town. We need to do that. So, guys, we have got another scratch card. Let's try a look. This one is cooking recipe. So, if we win, we'll get a cooking recipe. Come on, please. New recipe unlocked. Oh, is this guaranteed? I think it's guaranteed. Oh, look at the sprites. Oh, it's not available in the demo. But this looks like some kind of quiche. And is that salt or sugar? 
So this is not available in the demo, but that's cool. Another letter. Oh, look! Camellia! Hello, new farmer. We'd love it if you stopped by our little gardening shop. My daughter and I can get you started in the fine art of vegetable cultivation. Just till, sow, water, and harvest. Easy as one, two, three. I hope this helps you get started. <gasps> Sprinklers! Let's go! Oh, I've not really prepared for this, though, have we? I want to see the radius of this. We need to see in the morning, like, kind of how good that is. We've got some lettuce seeds as well. Lovely jabbly. What's this? Compost. This is high in phosphorus. So compost is going to be very important in this game because if you want to get those giant crops, those big ones, obviously you want to find out what the soil's like and each seed's different. So what's these lettuce? These lettuce love a 10 phosphorus level. Shall we try and get this to perfect? Um... Let's try and dig a, a slot here. How do you remove nitrogen, though? Or does it not worry about... Maybe... I don't know. It's going to be so hard to find the perfect... Soil level. Ooh, wild root seeds recipe. Because we kind of want to decrease nitrogen and phosphorus. Maybe you just have to keep putting compost on it. Let's try. We've got, we've got three lots here. So we put one on there. Oh, yeah. It's 10 phosphorus. Is that what they wanted, right? Yeah. Lettuce seeds. There we go. Optimal. Them lettuce are going to really enjoy that. So I don't think it matters about... Oh, that was only six. Damn it. So you need to add more phosphorus to those. I wonder if you can do it as they're growing, or does it have to be like before? Right, I need some wood. I'm just going to do a little bit of work here. Right, you get working on those. Come on, help me out, little chick. Come on, you do some work as well. That's a good little chick. Can you do over there? You have to be quite close. Oh, I've got rid of you, Anta. There we go. Go on, do that massive one. No, can't do that one. Why are you not following me? Ah, they are now. Get some work done. Keep remembering to send honey out and doing the uh, the stuff. Oh, we've got an ability for the axe. Nice. All of them actually got an ability. Let's do the scythe here. Ready? Uh, we need a, a big bit here. Let's try and do this. Control. Oosh! Oh, that wasn't great, was it? How do we get rid of this bush? Is it an axe? Yeah. That's why. Crafting recipe for pine tree saplings. Logging level 2. Okay. Look at all this stuff. This game's so cool. There's a lot to it. I think in the morning we should go and explore the town. I want to meet some of the people, if we can. I'm not sure if it's available in the demo. But I do want to go and explore a little bit out of the farm and see what the game has to offer in, in that space. Come on, you do that one over there. Go on, honey. You go. Nice. Honey's the best chick ever. Imagine having pets that can actually help you in your day-to-day -day life with all of these tasks. Farmers especially would love that. Just having your chickens just going. <laughs> Knock down a tree. Amazing. Okay, let's... Um, we should check out the barn as well, but I don't think there's any other animals in the demo other than chickens right now. Let's sleep. You can move your bed and sleep anywhere you like as well. So if I want to sleep in the coop, you can. Mm. Here we go. I wonder who's in town. Exactly what we're going to do today. Add fuel. Open the fridge. Nothing in there. Yeah, look at this. So cool. I love the interior. Really nice. 
Right, we're going to town. We should maybe still let... Oh, there's a radius. Okay. So, it's just one around. That's interesting to know. Is that ready to harvest already? There's no way. Oh, no. I don't think it was ready. And I have used the scythe on it. So, you can use the scythe on crops earlier just to get the fiber. That's not good. I don't know how you deselect tools. Maybe I'll just have to like click there. Okay, I'll quickly have a look at what's the barns looking like inside. Can we go in here? Oh yeah, look at this. That's cool. And furniture, we can edit this as well. Can we move? Oh, we can move whatever we like. Oops. Oh, what have I done? Let's put that back in there. And then... Why is it not letting me place it? I have to drag. But you can customise a lot of stuff, apparently. It's good. You can move things wherever you like. Let's have a look on... What's on the farm this side? I've seen this big, like, hill. Oh, another mushroom. Whee! Oh, look at the view. Oh, there's the greenhouse, of course. But I don't think this is in the demo. No, it's not. That's a shame. But yeah, obviously we can grow crops in here in winter to help us out. Oh, nice little... Oh no, this must be... Yeah, the end of the farm, okay. Do you have to use a scythe on flowers? I don't know if you get anything for them. Dog poop! The dog's pooping everywhere! That's not good. Probably need to feed him as well today. He did say, didn't he? <laughs> if you don't feed me, I'm going to poop everywhere. Maybe we should do that. So, water. Added water to his bowl. And let's feed him before we head out. Oh, I can't believe he's pooped. We can compost poop. Here we go. Well, let's let's put it in there then. Oh, we need more of those. We need four in order for it to work. We've got a letter. Oh, Brianna. If you have any questions about books, I'm here to help. So she's the librarian. Come see me at the library and I can hook you up with all of the latest reads. Don't forget, card packs also make great bookmarks. Oh, we've got some more cards. Okay, so these give us, like, abilities. So let's open all those. Go over to here. <gasps> We've got insta-kill regular enemies. So if we activate this, we can kill an enemy instantly, if it's regular. Uh, less competition on bidding at the auctions, which I was telling you about at the beginning. Um, and more fishing treasure. <gasps> oh, that sounds good. Oh, I keep doing that. Keep having the pickaxe selected. So let's put in some of this spongy material because we've got 11. There we go. This is a nice relaxing song. Green compost. We can use that later. And we've got some parsley. Oh, honey's hungry. Shall we give her uh, the mealworms? There we go. You can do it straight from your inventory, which is good. Brush you as well. Make them happy. Let's go. We are leaving the farm. This is going to be exciting. I have no idea what the town looks like. All the people. Oh, there's the mailman. Card activated. Oh, man. Stanley. It's like a cutscene. Oh, man. Oh no, I've lost the important package. Any ideas on where it could be hiding? Darn it, I must have dropped it somewhere in town. I'll have to retrace my steps and see if I can find it. Oh, this isn't looking good. Okay, we've got a, a quest, I guess. Find Stanley's lost package in the town. No idea where that's going to be, but whose house is... Oh, look at them. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. That looks so cool. We've got to go into all these buildings. 
I want to see who lives here, get to know the people. So this is where Stanley lives. All right. Look at his house. So one thing that the developer said when I was watching the stream is when you become friends with these people <clears throat> and you get enough friendship points with them, you can actually redesign their bedrooms yourself. So that is so cool. You can design their rooms if you become good friends. That's so good. So Stanley's private den is locked. Like I said, we need to become friends with him. That's the master bedroom. Lindsay's bedroom. Bradley's. There's a lot of people who live here. And Finn. Oh, that's my, my little boy's name. Literally. Look at that. That's so cool. Finny boy. So he's got a big family. Oh my god, look at this guy. Looks like a prisoner. Mr. F uh, Fuji. You can call me Mr. Fuji. <laughs> If you want to catch a lot of fish, you need to learn how to think like a fish. So is this the fisherman? Observe. Wait. What were we talking about? <laughs> I'm suddenly starving. I want to take a bath. That's awesome. So we've met two people there. The mailman and the fisherman. <gasps> Carpenter. So let's look at the map right now. Oh yeah, we can see. So the clinic. Got like one big road here with all... Oh, There's a bakery. I saw that. The general store. Nice. Look, there's the clinic. Oh, did you... Who is that? Someone keeps popping up taking pictures of us. I've seen that a few times now. What's flashing over? Oh, it's like a new area. Okay, let's go into all these buildings. This game is called Cornuc Cornucopia. This isn't available in the demo. Oh, we can't go inside the... Can we go in? No, all of these are coming soon. Okay. Well, you know, that's why it's a demo. They're getting us excited for it. We can't go into all of these buildings. Can we go into... Is this a general store? Look at this. This is so cool. I love how the items are displayed and you can just go and buy them. Price $48 for some poached eggs. Wow, they are expensive poached eggs. Brown sugar... Oh my god, a sauce pot. This is so cool. Bread. I wonder if this changes. Like, oh there's the backpack of course, level one. I wonder if these change every day. Or is it just the same items? Be interesting to know. Uh, Harold's fast cash bin. You can sell things at a discount. Ah, oh, so it's like fast cash, you don't have to wait for the shipping bin. Interesting. I don't know how to pronounce his name. T T Sayushi? Sayoshi? I work for Harold at the general store. If ever you need supplies, I'm your go-to guy. So you don't obviously talk to the guy to buy things. You just go here and buy. These must change every day. Because this can't be the whole selection, right? Surely. I have to get back to what I was doing. Yeah, I thought that was a plum bob as well. It looked something like from Sims over here. You see that? What's it, what's it say? Oh, it's called a wind crystal. Oh, there's things on top too. Brown sugar, coconut milk, melon delight. Oh, nice. And all of these on here? Yep. Blueprint for a compost bin, which we've got. Cherry bombs, toast. And big bombs, fast bombs. All of these on here. Dog food! Yeah, things you put in here are going to sell for less, but you're going to get money faster if you don't want to wait. Especially if you remember, guys, like I mentioned at the start, you can't put things in the shipping bin at the weekends. Well, you can put things in, but you won't get your money, uh, money until Monday morning. So, for example, if you need some quick cash for the weekend, you don't want to wait till Monday, or you can't wait till Monday, you've got to sell it at a discount. There she is again. Who are you taking picture? I need to find her. Garden shop closes at 3 p.m. Oh, we're so late now. We've missed out on a lot. We'll have to come back and check out, because we can actually go in there, it seems. We'll come back to the other shops. I'm going to sell all these mushrooms that we're finding. Oh no, spongy material. Are we actually getting mushrooms from this? Yeah, common mushrooms here. We need to sell a few things. We need some money, to be honest. 
It's just a demo, so I can just sell everything. Let's be real. I want to do some fishing. We have got the rod, and I don't know how to fish. Oh. So I'm going to give it a go. Oh, oh my god. We drop zone? What the hell is this? Uh... Oh. oh god, you just click and it comes down. Oh my god, that is such a cool little fishing mini game. Whatever it lands on, that's what you get. That is interesting. Okay, I did not expect that. Using small mealworms as bait. So, you have to drop things in the water, and wherever it lands, look, there's a turtle here, there's a fish, and we can use a scratch card for better rewards. Yeah, you're right. So, how many can you drop? You only get... Okay, yeah, you get a few there. Look, we've got two of the fish, though. Well, it's whatever it lands on the most, right? So, we've got a small turtle. Okay. Let's use this. More treasure from fishing. Active for one full day. How to find this game? It's on Steam. You can play the demo. Cornucopia. There's a link in the description for the demo for Steam Fest. It's not fully released. Oh, treasure down there. It's not fully released until August. We need to get that chest, guys. Come on. Oh, okay. That's that's good. That's a good sign. That's a great sign. There we got it. Ho <laughs> ho. There it is. What do we get? Oh my god, there's a crab. Do we have to fight that? Chick, get him. Oh my god. This guy. What's exploding? Go on, Chick, get him. I think Honey actually did it. So we've got an old boot, bag of sand. An old boot. We can eat an old... Why would you want to eat that? How, how is that edible? That is crazy. Bag of sand. Uncommon cluster. A slightly less common mystery rock. Break it open and see what it holds. Hmm. Yeah, I can't believe we, there's a crab in there. Like, Stardew Valley meets Paper Mario. Yeah, it's the only way you can whoop, describe it. It's obviously the visual of the game. Okay, we've got some things down here. A lot of fish. Seahorse, that must be some kind of shrimp. A nice yellow fish there. We don't want the wood, so let's go this side. Kind of go down to the right here a little bit. Oh, it's not going to look good, though, is it? Come on, go straight down there, please. No. Oh, come on. Okay, that side. Okay, a small walleye. Let's go. That is very unique for fishing, to be honest. I've never seen that before. So, it gives you the options of what fish you could get. And it's just luck, I guess. See what it lands on. There's none of this, like, reeling the fish in, battling with it up and down. Oh. We've still got one more drop. Let's go down here. I want the octopus. Got another small turtle. Well, it looks good though. I like the looks of that. That's so unique. And there's a no wonder there's a lot of fish in the game actually because, you know, it's it's going to be well actually there's a lot to catch, but it's easy. It gives you a lot of options, so there's always guaranteed to get some kind of fish near enough. Shipping bin. Let's put in some mushrooms. All the fish that we got. Let's sell these. Got that turtle. Yeah, we've got another one. They don't stack. Oh, oh, teeny tiny. So the different sizes. Because that one sells for 25. This one sells for 21. So they have different prices. It's not all the same. Seasoning. Mustard. Fair enough. Plant material. The old shoe. Let's sell that. Blueberry pie. 
worth 50. Yeah, we've not really got a lot of things that's valuable. <laughs> What's this? Lion's Mane Mushroom. Okay, well, we're selling that one. That's got some money towards it. Uh, okay, that'll do. We've got to sleep. Oh, more compost. You really like this? I'm glad you like it, Victoria. All right, let's go to sleep. It's very unique, right? It's so different. It's something that I've not seen ever. It is so unique. Just press Q. What does Q do? It says Q to eat. You're about when you're in the shipping bin, can you automatically like transfer things over? Maybe, yeah, that's probably a lot easier. Let's have a look. Yeah, Q to add. I see, I see. That's so much better. Did not see that. It's quite small. If you don't look properly, you won't see how to do that. A magnetic bomb attracts items to you. Right, we've got to do some more water. Oh, did I not water all these yesterday? Oops. Oopsie. Oh, look at this crop. That's getting quite big. It's looking good. I don't know if it's ready or not. What's this quest? Grow and harvest five vegetables. That's our quest that we need to do. I'm going to have to fill up this watering can soon as well. Hey, the ability's ready. Control. Nice. I ran out of water for that last one. You can climb on all the buildings too, I believe. You can jump everywhere. Look at the view, guys. Look at that. The dimension's throwing you off. It's just the style of the game. That's just the way it is, right? Like I say, if you play Paper Mario, you'll know. It's literally 2.5D, so... Some things like this look 3D, but then your character and the animals are 2D kind of thing, so... I like it. Maybe it, there should be an option where you could zoom out a little bit, maybe. Maybe if you could zoom out just a tad. Uh, that might be kind of good. I don't like V-Sync v off, yeah. Yeah, maybe zoomed out a little bit, just to give us a bit more field view of the, the field <laughs> and the farm. Other than that, I don't mind it. Parsley. Can we put anything else in here? Let's have a look. Spongy material, more of this. Right, some more seeds here. We've got rooted there. I'm going to put some more planks on the go. Uh, not, no, not them. I need wood. There we go. And then some stone. We've got different types. Sienna, cluster, copper ore. We need a furnace. Um, maybe another one. We have got the blueprint. We can actually make more. Oh, look, we've got scarecrows too. We need some yarn. Wonder how to get that. So there's all of our craftables for those. So when you level up your skills, you'll unlock more of these crafting recipes. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Wow. So this is bait. Bait and fish together. That's why it's 281, because it's different kinds of bait. But there's a lot of fish, and obviously seashells as well. And all the trash that you can maybe get. Can we harvest this? Don't think it's ready. We've got to still wait for them. Maybe we'll plant the other seeds. Get them all in the ground. How much have we actually got? We've got one, two, three of those. I think that's it. I like how you can access the backpack and you don't have to just use the hot bar all the time. You can kind of go in and out of your backpack. Hey, that one like that one. Optimal soil conditions. Let's 
get rid of this big massive rock. Ooh, learned crafting recipe for the fur. I thought we already had the furnace. Come on, chick. You've got to get some work done as well. We need to level you up. You're hungry as well. Okay. Uh, let's feed you. Here we go. We'll also brush you. Right, we need you to follow us because I've put you off by accident. Did we sort the dog out today? I don't even know if we did. I've lived on this farm for a long time. Don't bother telling anyone I can talk. You'll end up lo uh, locked in a padded room and I won't get any dinner. <laughs> So only we can speak to the dog or hear him. So cool. Got some dog food here. Oh, I've, oh god! I just ate the dog food. Disgusting. Blech. Oh god, that's horrible. Why did we do that? Vile. Hey, we didn't get poisoned or anything, so it's all good. Alright, let's have a little look here. Spring Planting Festival. What day is it? Oh, it's the 5th. We missed that. I don't think festivals are possibly... Are they going to be in the demo? I don't even know. Oh, there's the Chicken Festival. Um, 12.30pm. I'm not going to bother going to town because we'll just end up not having enough time again. So, look how spacious this is. It's fun that you can eat it, yeah. I wonder if you can eat the poop. No, you can't. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I don't want to accidentally eat dog poop. Dog food's bad enough. Go on, chick. Get some work done. Love it. All of these are abilities already. So we've got a big tree here. Let's knock it down in one hit. Bush! No messing about, guys. All right, you do this one. It's going to take ages. Come on, chick. I've knocked two down before you could do one. Slacking. Go on, go over there and do that. Right, stamina. The chick's still got 40. We've got 52. We're doing okay. You can get quite a lot done, to be honest. And obviously you can eat and drink to get this back up, so... No bother. No bother at all. So we'll go into town tomorrow. Oh yeah, I'll do the tree. You do that and I'll do the tree. Oh, the axe has got ability again. Is there any more trees around? More crafting recipes. We're finding all different saplings. Elm tree, a fir tree. Logging is level three. Can we actually like level up the skills and like do anything with that? I don't know. It's not... Like, what's the point in leveling this up? Are we getting anything, anything for it? I don't know. God, there's still so much more people to meet. 48. That is unbelievable. Right, let's use our ability on this big tree. Watcha! God, it's quite a lot to do. I love it. So relaxing. This is just a demo version. Yes, Mr. Serene. Uh, Miss Serene, I apologize. <laughs> 47, Mr. Okay, how's the chick looking? Have you... Ooh! So, skill level one. In, like, working for... We still haven't discovered any light... Things. It could be anything, right? Imagine if the chick actually loves dog food. <laughs> She's just a baby chick, yeah. So, let's maybe sleep and then we'll go into town and try and find a few more people. 
And hopefully the crop's going to be done in the morning for this quest. We need to harvest five. Did I manage to get any more seeds or anything? No. We're only going to get seeds from doing... Siphon. I love that you get abilities. Like you level up these tools, we get to the bar to the end and then use the special ability. Oh, that was quite fast. Oh, that was a good one. Bell pepper seeds. Oh, I love bell peppers. Let's go. Look at all the crafting recipes we're getting. A sewing wheel. <gasps> yarn. That's how we get yarn. Do we get the recipe? Or, or is it a crafting recipe? We're going to have to craft it ourselves. It's not like a blueprint, is it? So let's have a look. There it is. We just need two lumber and a copper ingot. Oh, copper ingot. Um, I'm sure we had some copper ore. There it is. Boom. We could actually make that. Well, it tells you how long it's got. Two hours and 55 minutes. So, like, three hours, basically. That's good. Let's try and hunt for some more seeds before the night ends. Oh, we're getting tired. Oh, energy zero. Have we got anything to eat? Capers. Used in cooking. We've got this juice. Let's uh, drink the slime soda. How much did that give us? 15? That's not a lot. We'll have to eat this. I did put a pie in the shipping bin here. Is it still there? Can we access it? Or was that yesterday? Yeah, it's gone. It's already been. So it's actually Saturday tomorrow. So the shipping bin will not come. So we can't sell things until Monday now. We could put things in the shipping bin ready and like hoarder and collect everything. But the guy's not going to come and collect it and give us the money until Monday morning. So if we do need money fast, we'll have to go to the store and put it into the little fast sell or fast cash box. But we don't get as much money for it. But it's all good. Yeah, this game is very easy to play, guys. You know, it is very simple, but it's cozy as well. Ooh, Scythe's got the ability. Okay, let's go again. Boosh! Oh, achievement. Let's go! We'll get all of those. Some crazy stamina's about low, so we should sleep. Got a lot to do tomorrow. Guess dark at night. Could do some torches or something. Hello, Mika. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Should we put the fire on? Okay, put 11 logs in there. That should last a long time. Get nice and cozy. All right, you stay there. Good little chick. Can we sit on the chairs? I want to sit down. That'd be such a great screenshot. So the tools do not have durability, Naomi. No, it's the ability. So when you get these bars filled to the top, like the orange, like the axe and the pickaxe, you can use the special ability there. As you can see, it says press control to use it. Uh, and you can basically knock, knock a tree down in one hit, a bigger radius with your scythe and the watering can, etc. So don't worry about your tools having durability because that is not a thing. Are you ready? One hit. Knocked down. Oh, look at this guy. The lumberjack. I love the sprites for the people. They're so good. Rufus. Hey, Sharky. Rose. How's the farming life? Roger. Roger Dodger. Is everything running smoothly? He looks cool. You know, Roger, you could really transform these broken down buildings like we discussed. It would take a lot of materials, but it would certainly be worth the effort. Yes, it could be done. Sounds like Sharky's going to need to gather lots of supplies. And money too. Oh, no. Just stop by my shop if you want some construction quotes. Oh, I'm going to go and have a look at that. I want to see, like, what is available to put on the farm, what buildings. 
Wait, Roger. They can't do that until the full version. Oh, no. Of course, the carpenter, the carpenter shop was locked in the demo. Rufus, quit breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> Let's change the subject. Oh, great. You repaired the shipping bin. I almost forgot. I brought you some old furniture. It'll save me a trip to the dump. <gasps> Ooh, fireplace, pokers, firewood pile, and a waffle maker. This game's already on my wish list. Nice, Julian. You'll have Appy Town looking like a fully functioning farm in no time. Yep, just work hard, use your noggin, and don't give up. And remember to stick to the plan. Follow your daily checklist and feed your dog. Clean your chimney regularly. Come on. Rufus, cool your jets. You're stressing the poor boy out. I can tell he's got farming on lockdown. Yes, we do. We've done it a lot. <laughs> well, I better get back to work now. Time for a nap. See you later. I better check out my food in the oven. Good work, Sharky. So there we have it. We've got 300 gold. Bang on. Dude, you know Harold stocked up on dog food? You should stop by the general store and pick some up. Give it a treat for me, would you? Oh, we got a dog treat. A toy. No, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was a bull. It is a pet treat. A gourmet treat. What even is that? We could sell it for 155. I'm tempted, you know. Right, where is he? Can we just like... Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh! I'm so thrilled about this gift. Thank you for your kindness. Was it a toy? I don't know. Maybe it was. This is the demo. That means you only got 31 days of spring to play. Oh <laughs> no! There we go. Lots of buildings and areas aren't available. Don't worry, you'll get to play them in the full version. Well, there you have it, guys. If you're curious, you can only play through spring. Alright, where's the dog food? We've still got five left. I maybe should pick, pick some up. Woo! Bum, 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 ba -da, ba -da, bum. Oh, we got. Was that a card? Oh. Did we have a card? Oh, it's expired. Right, insta kill regular enemy and competition on auctions. Right, the copper's done. So we can now craft our sewing wheel. Because then we need yarn for the scarecrows. Right, did it go into our inventory? Oh, it's down. Oh, what's that? Oh, dung beetle. Poop collector. <laughs> and you can use it as fishy bait. Nice. And we can also use these mealworms as well. We should put more copper in here. And more planks on the go. Right, uh, I just need to find this sewing wheel. There it is. Uh... Let's just put that here. Why not? So we've got furniture. We need to put these inside the house. So we need to put four thread. How do we get that though? We don't have any of that, do we? Oh, weavable plant material. Okay. We've not got much. We need more plant material. Hmm. Is any, oh, look how big this crop's getting. <gasps> we can harvest it. A potato! Potato! Nice, our first one. Did you see how big that was, guys? Because I think it was in the right soil condition, so it made it a very good size. Oh, look. I love how we harvest the crops. Come on. Some small lettuce. So as you can see, that one was small because the condition of the soil wasn't the best it could be. So you've got the small one there, and then we've got a normal one. So we actually didn't have a large potato. That must just be medium. But we've actually got some crops now. Oh, yes. No more we can harvest. We need to water. But we can sell all these. 
I've got a few more seeds that we can plant too. And that bell pecker. We should definitely do that. I'm going to sell that bomb. I don't really want it. I don't care for it. A cluster wrapped in... Crack it open to find out more. I wonder if we can actually visit the blacksmith in the demo. Okay. So let's do the watering. Need that ability so I can water a bit more. I'll plant some more seeds too. Nice. We always run out of water though. But there's, there we go. Are they all watered on that side? This one here? It's hard to see. That's why I think there should be a zoom out button. So let's do some tilling and we'll kind of go down. I love that it's different soil conditions. So cool. Right, let's have a look. We've got a bell pepper that I want to plant. So let's, let's just take a look here. I want a big bell pepper. So this needs six all around. Six nitrogen, six potassium, six phosphorus. If you get the soil condition, all of those perfectly, this will be a large bell pepper. Let's see if we've got six all round. Three all round. Mm, too much potassium in that one. Too much in there. The best one we've got right now, what about this one up here? Three, two, two. So this could be okay. We could increase the nitrogen to one more, one more potas potassium. And then we need to try and get something for phosphorus. This one not be too bad either. So let's have a look what soil. So this one here adds nitrogen. I'm trying to get familiar with this. So this is going to increase it. How much does it increase it by? If I put it onto this one, will it put it to six? Let's see. Ten. God, it, oh, it adds too much. It adds way too much. Oh, man. This is going to be hard to get right. That adds a lot. This one adds potassium. Well, that needs to get added potassium to that one. I want to see how much it was. So it adds five. It adds five per one. That's going to be tough to try and get exactly right. So it just, it's kind of average. It needs all round sixes for the perfect. But it's always going to go over. Oh, this one. No, that's not compost, is it? So the brown compost adds potassium. The green one added nitrogen. And then we need another one that's going to add phos phosphorus. But I don't think we've had that one yet. That doesn't really matter right now. Let's just plant it. It's not going to be... Which one was we working on? Should we go to that one? It's kind of average. Oh, this one here. Yeah, it's not the right condition for it, but it should be okay. It's just not going to be very big. That one worked. That one liked it. I've got some plump seeds. What else have we got? We've got six wild roots. So these ones don't need much condition, as you can see. Root crops in real life don't really need much fertilizer. They will happily grow in the worst soil ever, like carrots, potatoes, etc. Um, and garlic and all that. So these don't need much condition. As long as it's got at least one of everything, I think that's what that means. As you can see, the kind of it's optimal every time you place it down because it doesn't need that much. So that's good to know. Just kind of getting used to that a little bit. It's 
It's going to take a while to get used to, you know, messing around with soil conditions. Uh, dog food added to the shipping bin. We've not added the dog food to the shipping bin, right? It's in my inventory. I've just saw it. Have we? Oh, two. We already had... We've got two and... Oh, I don't know what happened there. It must have split up. I must have pressed the wrong button. Thanks for letting me know about that. Yeah, we don't want to get rid of that. So I will put that parsley away. Bag of sand. I, I mean, I'll put it in the shipping bin. Oh, we've got some leafy seeds here. For now, let's just get rid of these clusters, shall we? We'll see if the blacksmith's open. I don't know if he's going to be or not. So with the compost, you can obviously mess around by adding different things. So you can put in poop. And then you can put in your plant fiber and kind of, you know, get a good fertilizer that's right for a certain crop. So there's going to be a certain recipe that we need, like, let's say we're going to need some plant fiber, some dog poop, maybe a little bit of that, um, what is it, like mushroom stuff. And then it'll make the perfect condition for, let's say, a bell pepper. We've got to like, experiment with it until we find the right fertilizer for it. So let's, uh, it's 3.50 p.m. again. Oh God, I was going to go into town, but we still need to harvest two more crops and we need to water the rest of these ones. It is a farming game after all, so we're gonna... Ooh, another card pack. Nice. We're gonna be doing a lot of farming. And I know we've got a little bit... We've got some more seeds, right? We have this leafy greens. So, recommended conditions for the leafy seeds is 5 phosphorus. So they don't need any nitrogen or potassium. Does that mean they don't want it or they don't need it? Hello, Rena. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. So, five phosphorus. Okay. Um, let's have a look. Three phosphorus. Let's try and get... That's six. We've got the ability on the... Um, on the... Oh, shall we see how radius is? Ooh, that does quite a lot, right? We've got another one as well. So they stack up. That's cool. If you've not used it, they stack. That's so good. Right, let's have a look. I, just, I want five phosphorus. Has any of these soil got the right one? Oh, this one here. So it's got potassium and nitrogen. Does that matter? I don't know. I want to kind of see how this works. So it is this one right in front of us. This one's five phosphorus, but not the other ones. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, that does work. Okay. So it just needs what it says, basically. As long as it's got five phosphorus, it's happy. Doesn't matter about the other two. That's so good. Get familiar with it, guys. We've got the ability on the watering can, but we don't need that right now. Where's... Uh... Where's that chick? What happened to our little chick? Oh, I left him inside. Oops. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, little buddy. I didn't forget about your promise. What's this? Poor compost. Oh, we, we didn't make a very good one, guys. This was, <laughs> this was... We used the dog poop, and it's made of very rubbish compost. So, yeah, just don't use it. That's not going to do very well. Mm -hmm. Right, you are hungry, aren't you? Yeah, I thought you would be. You're always hungry. Right, let's give you a mealworm. How are you getting on? Okay, yeah. Getting there. Friendship is 100 right now. Five days old. Honey's doing well. Should we put it back in the coop? Oh. Right, you stay in here. There we go. Like I said, we can actually move everything around in the coop. You can decorate everything in this game. So you can put things... Oh, just don't right-click like I do.
you right click and then left click. And you can put things wherever you like. And you can also do with these ladders, these little incubator things or wherever the, the chicks sit to hay, uh, hatch their eggs. Ta-da! You still have some space on the sprinkler. Can you still use it after harvesting? Uh, yeah, we can, but I don't think we've got any seeds left. But yeah, I remember that. We've got, we harvested those, uh, that potato, right? So, and the small lettuce. Yeah, we can still use those. When we get some more seeds, I'll do that. I was trying to mess around with the soil quality. Let's go again. I want to go into town and explore a bit more around there. I got a feed monger. What's in the mailbox? Oh, we need to feed him. He's not happy. Right. Water. Dog food. Are you happy now? Can we brush you? Oh, he likes a brush as well. Hey, do you... F uh, hey, doo doo face. <laughs> Did you know that each tool has a special... You can charge up over time and use it by pressing control. Yes, I do. Just to ensure that the bar at the bottom of the tool is filled up first. Green compost. Mail. Winter. Oh God, this character. Stay out of those old mines. I don't want to have to save you again. I didn't even go in there. But we should. <laughs> you can actually go in the mines in the demo. Oh, look at these guys. They are ready to harvest. We got some crops, let's go! Lift them out of the ground, a small bean. So if it's small, it's not done too good. That means we've used the wrong soil, but it's all good. Uh, so right, let's go. Ooh, wild root. Let's go. I think that is it. That's all we can harvest. It looks like the roots were done. We, oh, let's go and put these in the house as well. Because we do have some decoration that I want to mess around with. Some furniture. Let's have a look here. So we've got a waffle maker. Alright. Can we just... Oh, there we go. Can we put it on the kitchen? Oh, keep right clicking. Where did it go? I got it here. Hey! And then what? What's this? Oh, it's for the fire. That's cool. And then we also got a firewood pile. Nice. Just little touches like that. Oh, that's quite big. Look at that! This looks cute! Can we uh, move that chair? And then we'll get the rug and we'll put that down here. And then can we move that on top? Oh yeah. Look at that, that's awesome! You run into a bug when I save and load. My crafting recipes are gone, so be aware. Devs are aware. Oh no! Your crafting recipes, these, did dis like, disappear. Oh, we need some iron. And a mechanical part. I wonder where we get those from. We still need that yarn. I was, we need more fiber. We've only got two. But look at all these crops. So we've got a small carrot and a small bean. <laughs> They're not great. But we can, you know, tiny carrots. Lovely. Nothing wrong with them, guys. Actually making some money now though. Look, when that guy comes on Monday morning, is what day is it today? Sunday. So when the mailman comes tomorrow, we've got a lot of stuff to sell. Well, not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Get all those in there. Maybe we should do some fishing and try and stock up on that as well. Well, we do actually have four more of this stuff left. The spongy material that we can compost. Okay. 
need to do the watering on these ones here. Let's use the ability to fill up. We ran out. Right, let's finish this. It's hard to see which ones need watering. When they get tall like this, they start getting in the way. Watering can ability ready. Okay, let's go for it. Boosh. I think that's perfect. Right, let's go. Gotta go into the town today. Speak to some more people, maybe do a bit of fishing. I wanna explore, see what the town looks like. So that's the mailman's house. We've been there already. Oh, got a cutscene. Oh, look, an old man. And someone else that we've not met before. Harold, what happened to your hair? Did you fall into a rainbow? Son? Oh, he's got like hair dye. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Taru. Well, it's just my style. Not that you would understand anything about style. Kids these days don't know which end is up. I once saw a girl with a bull's ring to her nose. I asked her if I could put a rope through it and lead her around. <laughs> this guy's too much. He's antisocial like me. Why do you kids wear your pants so low? I don't wear my pants low. These darn kids need to pull up their pants and buy a belt. Boy, I have to get out of here. <laughs> if you want to get a date, you need to start acting like a man. Women like men like myself. Solid muscle. <laughs> I think I'm done talking with you. Have a nice day, Mr. Harold. Uh, you'll never get anywhere without my advice. The Rainbow Boy should be grateful. In my day, I would never. <laughs> Rainbow Boy. <laughs> oh, I love him. Harold, what a guy. Okay, there's the mailman. I've got to do my duty. Is that your pet chick? You got one too. I've left mine at home, I forgot. Hey, there's the uh, fisherman. Having the right bait is only a part of the uh, equation. Right. There's, I want to see if the general store has different things. Let's have a look quickly. I think it does. Can confirm. Yeah, look, we've got a spooky bomb. Ember roots. So every day, the things in the shop are different. Yeah, there's a frying pan. So there's different cooking utensils there and different, like, crystals here. Blueprint for a compost bin. All right. That's good to know. 2 p.m. Quickly, I don't want to... Oh, another cutscene. This is the clinic. This is Rose. Hello, Stanley. Have you delivered my mail yet today? Greetings, Rose. I'm quite busy. I haven't dropped it off yet. Would you like it right now? No, no, please. Drop it off at my house as usual. Well, please ring my doorbell when you come by, because I need a strong man to open a few jam jars and rearrange some furniture. <laughs> open some jam jars? Rearrange some furniture? Yes, nothing too heavy, of course. Plus, I just uh, stewed some... What's that? Borsk? You can try. Never heard of that. Hmm, sorry, Rose, but <laughs> just wonderful. I'll see you later today. Ah, uh, this isn't my job description, Rose. I'm on the clock. I'll lay out an extra placement at the table and start working on your to-do list. <laughs> See you soon. Old people, they're so nice, aren't they? Like, they just offer you everything. So this is a shop that I wanted to check out, the garden store. This is where we're gonna buy seeds. Oh yeah, I love this shop. Look how cool it looks. We've got tomato seeds, pumpkin, and leafies. Oh yeah, let's get some of those guys. That's amazing. Quite expensive though. Oh, compost here. No, it's not, is it? Bag of clay. Oh yeah, it's gonna be, of course. You're gonna add this to your soil to make all the things go up. If you want the soil to be more clay, I get it, more silt, and then the sand's probably gonna be nitrogen? I don't know, but that's pretty cool. Go upstairs. Ah, oh, nice. I love this. 
So this is camellias and pen penelope or pen I don't know how you pronounce that one. Penelope? Is it that? Maybe. Hi there, sweet cheeks. I'm Camilla. C Camilla? Camilla. Why does every game have weird names? Just be a normal name that I can read, please. <laughs> Just be called something so simple. They're all so different. Okay, look, this is like the gr oh, another person taking pictures of us. This is the grain store. Can't go in there though for the demo. Can we pick these up? I want these sunflowers. Oh, they don't give us anything though. Oh, sunflower seeds. We do. Nice. So we get some plant fiber, which we do need, so. Right, can we go this way? It's telling us that we possibly can. Oh, it's not available for the demo. Although, it doesn't really look like you can go anywhere. <laughs> Ooh, seed extractor. Because we got level three in scythe. The vineyard. Oh, look at this. What's the... Oh, we got some black currant. Juicy achievement. Let's go. That's pretty good. So let's put these seeds up here out of the way for now. Because I don't want to accidentally get rid of them or anything. And then I can start picking some of these mushrooms that I can maybe sell. Spongy material. You'd love to watch a series of this? Yeah, I think we should definitely do that. I mean, it doesn't get released until August, which is the early access. What's this? Oops. <laughs> I don't know what it was, but it's broke now. Oh, a Scarlet Caterpillar Club. Is that a book? Oh, it's Edible edible Mushroom. That is a weird looking mushroom. I literally thought it was a caterpillar. <laughs> right, Toadstool. Definitely poisonous, you want to stay away from them. We've got a river. Ooh, Naomi! See, now that's a name I can say. Nice and simple. Oh, a foot is stuck in this stupid bridge. Could someone come and give me a hand getting it out? Help me get loose. Spine on you? No way. <gasps> was she the one taking photos? I was just taking photos of the pigeon population for my bird watching blog. Of course you were, Naomi. Listen, if you fancy me, just say. It's fine. It's uh, Honestly, we can go on a date, we can settle this. <laughs> Okay, fine, I'll tell you what's been going on with me, but only if you promise to help me get my foot out of this mess. It's been stuck here for hours, and I'm starting to lose hope. Uh, thanks so much, I really appreciate your help. I'm sorry for spying on you. Can you meet me outside the second floor of the granary after dark? I have something important to, to, to discuss with you. Time to skedaddle. See you later, alligator. Okay, she's cool. Listen carefully, because I'm only going to say this once. Meet me outside the second floor of the granary at night, and come alone. God, don't tell anyone about our secret uh, rendezvous or things could get sticky. Is she flirting? And bring your sense of humor because you are going to need it for what I have planned. <laughs> She's so quirky, it's kind of scary. I don't know what she wants. But we'll check it out. So now we're on the other. Oh, this will. We can go in the water. We can go in the water? Wait, what? the hell? We can actually come down here. It's not available in the demo. Another way we can go. So we're on the other side here. She's quite a knockout, literally. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. On this side. And we can get rid of all the bushes and trees and stuff here as well. Yeah, this is a nice fishing spot. Using the dung beetle as bait. Come on, is there anything here? Oh, I've clicked off that card and it's cast the line. Well, reeled it in. 
Okay, here we go. So we do have a chest that we can try and get. Look at the anglerfish and the octopus. I really want these. Let's um try and go down this way. It bounces everywhere. Come on, that's it. It's almost like pinball, right? It's clearly based on that. And you get a bonus as well. But what does that bonus do? Is that the size of the fish? The quality of it? I don't really know. Oh, it's going to go right down here. Okay, we've got two on this one. So does that mean that's going to be guaranteed to be that one? Bedtime. Oh. Oh, that was a great one. Oh, maybe does it randomize? So whatever it lands on, it kind of selects what it's going to be. No, it was the angler because it had two, right? Not available in the demo? Oh, no. We caught it, but we actually... It's not even a part of the game yet. So we can't sell it. Oh, that's annoying. We should go to sleep, though. Okay, look at this. Let's go. Let's put a few around. So we only get three. Go on, go down here. Get this pearl, this clam or whatever it is. Yeah, I think we might. Yes! A large clam. It's not available in the demo. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't fish. It's kind of like wasting our energy because we can't even sell the damn thing. Can we jump over here? Nice. Yeah, we're gonna ha going to have to unlock a lot of these not available in the demo for the demo. <laughs> okay, let's go back when it's sleep. It is dark. Right, let's get a few more things in the shipping bin here. Got some of these mushrooms that I've been picking. A black currant. Let's just sell it all. Why the hell not? Make that mula mula. Yeah, look. So this is all. Oh, nearly a thousand is going to get collected tomorrow. Well, actually, today is Monday, so tonight. Let's go to sleep. Oh, granary. I forgot to go to the granary. Did you say night time as well? Oh, got some crops, guys. Tomato! Bell peppers. Let's go. Oh, I've got a small cucumber. It wasn't that great. We did that quest, though. Now we need to sell them in the shipping bin. Small broccoli. I'd love to, I can't wait to grow a large crop. When you get the right soil condition and you get that really large one, I think that's going to be so good to see a large crop and it's obviously going to sell for more. I just got through the wildflower demo and it was the cutest thing ever. Definitely the next game I buy. I do still need to check that out and I'm dying to do that as well. It does look pretty cool. Okay. So we've got bell pepper to sell. Wow, the roots. We've got another card that we can open. Broccoli and cucumber. They're not the biggest things, but they're going to add towards the money. So let's have a look. Let's uh, open this card. So find more herbs if you have that on effect. More axe bonus. Okay, nice little buffs. So each card is it's obviously collectible if you find them. And they'll give you little like buffs. So what's the next? Still need to find that lost package. A meter. Okay, past 8 p.m. Yeah, we need to do that. I totally forgot about that. Sell vegetables. In the sh oh, we've got to wait for them to sell. It is hard to water. Because all the crops are tall to get in the way. 
but it's good. You just kind of go with it. Learned a crafting recipe. Oh my god, let's go. Oh, we got this as well. The seed extractor blueprint. So like a, you put a crop in there and you get seeds in return, like a seed maker. So this is a better sprinkler, a mithril. That sounds good. Let's feed the doggo. We'll talk to him and give him a brush. You can put almost anything in my food dish, as long as it's not gross. <laughs> if you hold down mushrooms, you can pull them right out of the ground. So this dog here, basically, you can he talks to you and only you can hear him, and he kind of gives you tips around the game. It will help you out around your farm life, give you little tips and tricks and some secrets. Uh, and obviously, the more friendly you get with him, the more secrets he will give you and tips and stuff. So kind of just keep getting on that friendship, you know. And as you can see, he's 63 doggy years. His birthday is winter the 23rd. Ah, oh, that's cute. That's when he was born. And we can find out some of these things here that are his favorites. I wonder what they are. Oh no, they're his favorites. So what are these? Oh, so these are recipes that he'll give you once you become friendly with him. So each person gives you recipes. Oh, he's a widower. He lost his wife. 92! Harold is going strong. I love that you can find out about all these. Mr. Fuji is 82. Stanley's 39. So good that they've got the age. And he, uh, he's married to Anastasia. We've not met. Roger is 44. Single. Okay. Camilla is single as well, at 41. So what I heard from the developer as well, guys, is you don't have to marry the young adults, you know, in the 20s or whatever. If you want to marry a single 40 or 50 year old, you can. You can marry the, you know, the mature people in the game, which is pretty cool. Because, you know, I don't think our character has an age. I don't think so, anyway. Right, um... Did we go anywhere else, map? Did we go right to the end? The treehouse and the wizards. No, we kind of didn't go that far, did we? You can zoom out and tilt right now in the settings and also by holding Alt and Shift using... Really? Oh, no way. Oh my God. Guys, it's a game changer. That is a game changer. I didn't know you could do that. Holy crap, look at Now it's Paper Mario. <laughs> Wee! No way. Oh my god, guys, that's insane. Thank you for the t I did not know that. That is amazing. That's really good. That's gonna help with the, the watering and things like that. Game changer. Absolute game changer. I like this perspective here. Okay, we've got to look. Look at this blue rooster. It's so cool. Yeah, I like that it's tilted up a bit. This is for me. I kind of prefer that. Okay, hey, Roger. What can I get you today? I have a, a proposition for you. Uh, oh, I've invented a slime repelling shampoo. <laughs> it's super effective, and I'd like to sell it here. I love all the characters, they've got their own unique personality. So good. They're all so quirky in their own way. What in heaven's name is it made out of? <laughs> it's made from live slimes and a few other secret ingredients. And just so you know, some people really love the smell. Who on earth told him that? <laughs> it smells awful, Roger. Ah, uh, would you please talk to Harold about featuring my new product? I am thinking right by the front door. Our shelves are already quite overstocked. 
be sure to describe its incredible features. <sighs> he really needs to take a bath. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with today? Just, just 10 sticks of dynamite, please. This guy's really concerning. No problem, here you go. I best be off. Busy, busy. Bye, dude. Oh yeah, I love the visuals of this now. The 3D pops a little bit more as well. Really good. Thank goodness I'll be my 40 I'll be 40 in two years, and I just can't romance another guy like Sam Stardew Valley, as adorably as he is. I'm after his mum. Yeah, I mean it's it's true. It's good that there's no limitations on who you can, you know, date and marry in the game. Okay, here we go. You're too young to get into such things. No, I love him. You don't even know him. Oh, mum and daughter. How do you know he is who he says he is? He sent me a photo. <laughs> you can't trust anything or anyone you meet on the internet. People can fake who they are. Yep, catfish. You need to stop talking to him right now. I guess I really can't confirm he, he is who he says he is. I can just tell. He's perfect. I'm just trying to protect you, sweetie. Here's Rose. The neighborhood children told me they thought I had a pimp cane. <laughs> Real good sense of humor on these brats. I bet they got it from me. Ho ho. See, every character's so unique, it's cool. They're all quirky. So what's this up here? This, is, oh, it's not in the demo. This is the auction house. Can't wait to try that out. Being able to bid on things and try your luck and getting something a bit cheaper or selling something for a bit more. I don't know what these pots are, but I keep smashing them. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right thing to do. So this is the old mines. We've not really messed around with this. After what happened, you're still eager to get back in the mines, huh? So this is where we start at the beginning, the intro. We was obviously frozen. God knows what happened, but it'll be interesting to find out. I know you don't remember anything from your previous life, but you should know that the mines are beyond dangerous. Break rocks until you find the ladder to the next level of the mines, and you can go deeper until you reach the bottom. Also keep an eye out for bonus rooms. Ooh, filled with treasure, now that's exciting. This torch can be used as a weapon, it's a spe it's special attack causes burning. Let's go. Control when it's full. Yep. So we've got a torch. If you use a, if you see a skeleton, be sure to give it a good thump on the head for me. Here's a couple of crystals to warp home. Oh. So the crystals are used to warp? Stay safe. If you get knocked out, you'll be penalized and lose items and money. Any plans on a Switch release? Yeah, well, ask the developer anything you want right now in the chat. This would be a great Switch game. I love the mushrooms when you pull them out. So this is not available in the demo as well, the extension there. But I think we can actually go in the mines, if I'm right. After the PC release, we'll be submitting to Nintendo. That's amazing news. Oh my god, guys, look how cute the slimes are. I don't even want to kill them. Oh my god, they're amazing. Oh, that's so good. The combat feels nice. I think it's the aspect of the game as well. They're making cute noises. A little bit like Slime Rancher. Oh no, I just left by accident. Oops, my bad. Are they gonna... <laughs> yeah, they're gonna get full health again, right? So we can use the special ability. Can we? Oh, there we go. Oh, that was a nice move. So we have HP we've got to be careful of here. This is the legendary slime. Are we strong enough for this? I hope so. He's quite tough. But he's so cute. Oh, got him. Look at that. We've got slime battery. Some poor compost. Slime. There's the wind crystal. Harness the power of the wind with the crystal. Q to warp home. What was the other one? To warp to the old mines. Oh, so the fire one's to go to the mines. And the wind is to get home. Nice. 
Special compost, look at that. High in everything, increases NP NPK and bioactivity as well. Amazing. Okay, let's go a little bit further. Um, down here. Can we break these? Oh, we can jump on them. Oh, yeah, we're going to be able to get higher, right? Yeah, this is cool. There's a chest there. Nice, I love it. A card pack and some money. Let's go. Have we got anything that we can use in the mines? Yep, yeah, more on oh no, a siphon, more scythe drops for more herbs. Insta kill. We should have that on. We should definitely have that on. Oh god, this is gonna be uh, a bit finicky, but we can do it. Oh, okay, the <laughs> the aspect of that is so hard. The perspective throws you off. Oh, it's kind of throwing me where it needs to be. Come on. Oh, we did it. Let's go. The vegetable shipped. We've got some money. Okay, so... We need to open the other card pack. I think we just got one, right? We've got two. What else do we get? A scratch card. Let's be having you. Okay, let's take a look. So... This is a cooking recipe scratch card again. I don't think this is a part of the demo, right? Oh, look how tasty that looks. The sprites are gorgeous. That looks like some kind of cheesecake. And then I never know what this is. Sugar or salt? Like it's, it happened on the last one, I'm not sure. That was cool, though. Right, chance for double refining yield. Weaker enemies. Can you have more than one? Oh, you can. You can, like, stack them. Maybe up to four. Obviously, there's four slots here. Hmm, mining's going to be a little bit easier then. I think that's the only way we can go, yeah. So that's pretty cool, guys. I love the mining already. So we can break rocks, right? I've not seen any, though. Oh, look how fast they're dying now. Insta-kill. All the way down. Here we go. Oh my god. A rock tender. Well, these are quite strong. So, rock salt, poor compost, and weaker enemies are the buff that's working. Can we pick these up? These are weird mushrooms. I don't want to be touching these. Okay, breaking these pots. It's a big one, shrimp. Oh, a periwinkle. So now we can break these. Oh, tumbler. Crafting recipe. Let's go. Mining level two. Black mountain stone. This is cool. I like it. Right, let's... Uh, oh, another enemy. Can we... Uh, we can use that thing. Oh, the special ability is super strong. Look how big this is. Oh my god. These are huge. They're bigger than me. Good for compost. A mocha. Come here, mocha. Let's be having you. Oh, we're going to die. I'm not taking a look at my elf here. Have we got anything to eat, though? I don't think we do. What's good? Edible. Got some mushrooms. Well, it is getting late. Oh, I just killed him in time. 
Ooh. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, it was interesting to know what happened if you died. And you lose a lot of stuff, it seems. Not a whole stack, but you lose a few of them. Like, we lost some lumber. Or some seeds. Oh, no. And some money. You don't want to be dying in the mines. Something exploded. What the hell? Oh, we got rain. The first time I've seen the rain. That's also amazing. It's nice to see. Got some crops. Small ones. We need to get bigger ones with the soil, but... I can't believe something blew us up. What the hell was that? Oh, we got an apple tree. We need to grow that. I'm just going to sell everything here. Make some dosh. I mean, I don't know what is worth keeping or anything at the moment because it's just a demo, so I'm not really sure what you know things are used to, to craft with and things like that. So at this point, <laughs> just sell it. Just sell it. If I'd played the game properly, you've got to keep hold of a few things, right? Put them in the storage. But at this point, it's just worth just making some money. Uh, yeah, we shouldn't have walked back home, really. But it was good to test out what happened if we died. This is a cute game. It's releasing in August, I believe. Sometime in August on Steam. Uh, early access, that is. But you can play the demo right now on Steam. For the Steam Fest. That's what I'm doing right now. Look at all the crops we're getting. Yeah, I really like the um, the fact that you can zoom in and out. And this is really helping me as well. Like, look how much you can change the angle. And if you want it to come really straight on like that. I love it that you can do this. Really cool. Okay, I think that's all the crops we can harvest. Bum, 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 bum. Now, these are all small. I need to grow big ones. I'll get there. We'll get familiar with it. I'll be growing some giant crops when uh, we play more of this. Don't you worry. Okay, looks like we've got a lot of stuff ready to sell here. I want to plant this apple tree. Yes. These ones that were planted earlier are fully grown. I think that's fully grown, maybe? Or is it still growing? Not anymore. <laughs> it's gone. Nice. But yeah, guys. Sadly, I have to end the stream here. That's all I can do today. But I really enjoyed this game. I saw it yesterday, and I had to play it and show it off to you guys. Cornucopia, available early access in August, but there's a demo right now. Check it out down below if you want to find out more. This is a real unique farming RPG. It's just so different to what we used to. Oh, I love this thunderstorm, by the way. Wow. Uh, yeah, a very, very cool, unique game. One that you must definitely try for yourself. I highly recommend it so far. I can't wait to dive into the early access and the full release to, you know, push the limits on this game and see what more it has to offer. But as a demo, already enjoyable. And I know there's tons and tons to this game. Even more to explore. So that was a blast. I probably will do a proper video on this eventually and dive into it a little bit more. But I just wanted a cozy stream tonight and just test it out for myself because this was a first experience for me. So hopefully you like it. If you do, guys, smash that like button. And subscribe if you want to see more of this as well. But thank you so much for coming into the stream. Especially the developer, Subconscious Games. Thank you so much for um, watching the stream. And thank you for creating such an awesome game. This is incredible. Very unique and I love it. <laughs> the day is short for me. The game day uh, goes by pretty fast, but I've not had a problem with it. But yeah, guys, thank you all so much. Make sure you take it easy, take it, um, be safe, and stay cozy, of course. 
I'll see you all on the next one, guys. Bye-bye.